This week we're going to look at decimal place value and then we're going to go to solve some decimal addition and subtraction questions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can um, use materials or imaging to show ones, tenths and hundredths. I'm going to show on explain everything and your next task you're going to use the wooden blocks again um, to share to seesaw to model some decimal numbers. So I want you to imagine these square blocks are ones These skinny rods are our tenths. So I've got four of those here. And these little ones are hundredths. So, if I was going to write down what this number show, oh, what these materials show, remembering that these here are ones, these blocks are my tenths, and these blocks are my hundredths. This number would show 2.47. I've got two ones here. I've got four tenths. One, two, three, four. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundredths. So this, these materials show 2. 0.47. Two ones, four tenths, seven hundredths. For your first commit task, there are some decimal numbers written on the board. You're going to need to use the wooden blocks to show that decimal number, take a photo of it, and upload it to your seesaw. When I have my materials, it's easy for me to see that with my ones up here, my tenths, and I'm going to make a space down here for my hundredths, I can see how they relate to each other. So I can see by moving some of my tenths that ten of these make up one. So I've got two there, three, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven, eight, nine, and ten tenths. And you can see that ten tenths is the same size as one. So 10 tenths make one whole number. I can see with my hundredths cubes as well that 10 of those make one tenth. So if I drag them over like this, one, two, three hundredths, four hundredths, five, six, Seven, oopsie, that one's connected. Eight, nine, and I'll take one from over here. Ten, I can see that if I take one of my tenths from here, that that's the same size. So, as you can see, ten hundredths make up one tenth. Now we're going to use the materials to show how we would solve some decimal addition problems. So if I have the equation 
one three plus one point four four then I can use my decimal place value knowledge to show what that would look like. First I can add my ones, my two and my one together. So I'm going to use the materials to do that. Okay, so if I've got two and one, then I've got three ones so far. So I'm also going to show my working for how I have written this out. My first step is two plus one equals three. Easy peasy. The second thing that I'm going to do is now I'm going to, just to remind myself what I've done and what I have to still do, I'm just going to put a little cross through my ones numbers. That shows me that I've just got my tenths and my hundredths left to add. I'm going to keep doing that the whole way through. So next I'm going to add my tenths and I've got one tenth in the first number and four tenths in the second number. So I'm going to drag them out here. One and one, two, three, four. So all together I've got five tenths and I'm going to write that like this. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 equals 0 0.5. I do the 0 point at the start of my tenths numbers because I'm not adding any ones in these ones. I'm only adding my tenths across these so I know that I've done them. The last thing I have to do is add my hundredths together. So... I'm going to do that with my hundredths cubed. I've got three hundredths in the first number and four hundredths in the second number. So I've got my one, two, three hundredths, and then my one, two, three, four hundredths from the second number. So I've got seven hundredths all together. And I'm going to write that like this. Notice where I put the zeros. Zero point zero three plus 0 0.04 equals 0 0.07. You can see here that I've got a 0 point another 0 because that's the ones place and that's the tenths place and I'm not adding any of those. I'm only adding my hundredths number. So when I put across through here, I know that I've added everything. So you can see that my number now is shown here in my answers seven hundredths five tenths and three ones so my answer looks like this equal oh whoopsie daisy equals three point five seven and my materials show that as well one two three ones five tenths and seven hundredths 3.57. Your next commit task is going to be some decimal addition with tenths and hundredths. You can use the materials to help you, but in your books you need to show your working like this, how you add the whole numbers, then the tenths, and then the hundredths.